Hi guys, um, I just ordered a big package from Amazon. By the way, I'm gonna be eating feta on this. Not sponsored, but if you want to, call me. I just love snacking on feta. I ordered a bunch of clothes, this is Dixie, from Amazon. I'm actually wearing this shirt, and it's what inspired me to film this video, because why not try and see what good or awful or maybe okay stuff I can find. This top, it's like a little crop and it has a little tie right here. Um, it was pretty cheap. It's also like pretty cheaply made, but like I don't hate it. It's a horrible review, but that's that's what's going on. Oh, also these earrings I just got in the mail. I'm obviously opening up packages right now. Um, these earrings I got in the mail. I've been tracking these down. Um, they're from Sandra Monsieur. I honestly went through Amazon for like a couple hours and was just like, let's just find clothes that like kind of look cute or don't um, and like see what comes of it, see what happens. I placed this order a little bit ago, but I don't really remember everything I got in or everything I ordered. So what we'll do, we'll just start going through these. So these are leggings that had like really, really good reviews. O-N-O-N-O-X, no, O D O. D O S. Odd, odd O's. <laughs> so, this is them. I used to have this shirt from ASOS that was like a cute shirt and they had this like very serious, like almost felt peplum. Um, I found the long sleeve version or the knockoff long sleeve version of it on Amazon, so I had to try it out just to see what it looked like. But this is it. Yeah, that's exactly how it was. Wow, it's like a throwback to the early days of blogging. This is like an off the shoulder top but this like doesn't look white it, like looks like a gray blue another thing i got that i, I opened before i realized it was from amazon was this bodysuit from yumi and i've heard great things about them so i'm gonna try them out uh, this is a wedding dress not actually a wedding dress a long white dress it's unzipped so that makes me worried it had like really really good reviews which is like strange so i thought why not i think it was like twenty dollars yeah this was definitely tried on before so i think it's off the shoulder but it's just like this long lace dress so that should be interesting this last package for amazon has most of the clothes and i actually did this amazon wardrobe with amazon wardrobe what you do is you can like try stuff out without committing to buy it and then you ship back whatever you don't want and then they charge you for the rest so this is a larkin row dress they have affordable work dresses it was a nice little halter so i wanted to try this out this is from keepsake a floral dress blue floral dress which i thought was really cute it has a nice little ruffle at the bottom this is outside my comfort zone because of the color but i thought it looked really cute it was ted baker who i love so this is the dress it has like a ruffle around the front that'll either be cute or not and then a ruffle around the neck it's like kind of like a scuba stretchy material this is another pair of leggings that were like really highly reviewed these are from puma just wanted to test them out I'm always in the market for leggings. These, are, I think, are the leggings that were highly reviewed. This is from Amazon Essentials. These look a little big and baggy, but we will try them out to see what we're working with. Um, this is another Larkin Row dress. This is a wrap dress um, or like a faux wrap dress that I thought looked really pretty online. And then this should be another bodysuit but it's like a mock neck um long sleeve one i love that though mm. i just felt it okay let me try this stuff on here are the puma ones um really cute style i really like the material on them they fit nicely the only thing is and this is what i don't really like about them is that the support band is only this thick so i want it to be thick so it like really flattens everything down um so these will be a no for me as well the amazon essentials leggings um they're cute there's just like way too much fabric in here so like you feel like pulling them up might make it better but then it just creates like a weird 
you know, stuff and illusion. And they're a little bit big. I got a size medium. Um, I just tested them. They are not squat proof. Just to keep in theme with the leggings, these are not from Prime Wardrobe, but from the other order. They're cute. I didn't think I'd like the color, but I do. They have these side pockets, which are really helpful to keep your phone in if you're like walking around, lounging around. Once again, I feel like there's just too much fabric in here, so it just gives like a really weird look, and they keep falling down. So the support band obviously is large, which I like, but they just don't really stay up. I feel like I just keep having to pull them up, and then you move around, and then they just fall back down. So I don't like these either. Let me check to see if there's squat proof. Squat approved. Okay, this dress is a no for me, but for how cheap it is, it's really not that bad. It's just not my kind of material. It's see-through. You can see this little pink bow right there. But like, honestly, not horrible. Just absolutely not my style. Back to the Prime wardrobe. This is the Larkin Row, Larkin Co. dress. Fake wrap. A faux, it's like a faux wrap. <laughs> It was difficult to get to. Um, it is really beautiful. This is a great dress uh, for work. Very flattering, stretchy, pulls over your head, no zipper, anything like that. I can't tell if it's blue or black. I think it's blue, but it is really cute. I don't remember it being too expensive either. It feels like very futuristic to me, but um, this is a Ted Baker dress. It is very, very comfortable and very soft. I just don't think it's flattering. My figure, this just makes it seem like a little bit much. But it does have pockets, so that's a win. It's cute, but just not my style. I feel like maybe if this was in white, I would like it a little bit more. This is the keepsake dress. It is very gorgeous, but I'm like really thrown off. My eyes are at least by the fact that this is like... <laughs> On the side, I feel I felt like I like kept needing to like move it this way, so this would be in the middle. But it's meant to be this way. And the weirdest part about it all is it like comes halfway over my butt. So like this right here is the bottom of my butt. So you got a chunk still left over. So it feels like my dress is just like riding up on my butt, which I don't love. Um, but it's cute. Just once again, not for my body type. This is the other Lark and Row dress, the one that is dirty right here. Cute, but just not super my style. A little bit longer than I want, but it would be great, you know, for a place like work if this is something that is your style. So I really like these kinds of necklines, and that's why I was attracted to it and got it, but just don't really love it. This is the Yumi. I didn't feel like putting this on. This is like so tight. It says compression level is a two out of five from light to firm, but it's like really compressive. So maybe if this is something that you would want on a shirt, I, I don't, so I don't like it. And then here's the shirt I was wearing earlier in real life. So it's cute. It's like a thin t-shirt material. Nothing to like write home about, but it's cute and it's probably the only thing I'll be keeping. So uh, thanks for watching. My hair is crazy when I tried on that Yumi thing. I had to take it off and it was like, you know. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. This is like kind of all over the place, but you know, I just don't really feel like making, like I want to make YouTube videos, but I want them to be like simple and easy. Straightforward to the point, no fluff. So, um, I'll see you guys when I see ya.